Let's check in. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, the target. Let's have a good show, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're tuned into the Hot Rod Radio my name is uh, Captain Wayne Mott. I'm with the Canadian Forces Snowbirds. I'm Captain Maurice Carmichael, Snowbird number three. Major Bob uh, Painshow, uh, commanding officer and team lead of the Snowbirds, flying number one aircraft. This season is our 31st uh, season. The Snowbirds were formed in 1970. We're one of the few aerobatic teams in the world that flies an entire demonstration with nine aircraft. We follow the tradition that was set by our predecessors. People may recall the Golden Hawks with the F-86 Sabres. As a matter of fact, we saw one flying at the air show today. Uh, we flew the Golden Hawks in the, in the mid-50s. And uh, as we celebrated the uh, centennial of Canada in 1967, uh, the, the Golden Centenaire were formed with uh, specifically this, this very same aircraft. The team has now adopted the palm formation in preparation for the spectacular downward bomb burst. The snowbirds would like to dedicate this maneuver to the people of the Westfield area for their warm hospitality during our stay. Snowbirds flip now. Look to your left as the main formation returns for the simultaneous roll. Snowbirds roll now. The solos are returning for the roll and a half to inverted pass in the Cobra exit. Roll down. Smoke up now. Stem smoke now. Line of breast loop, no roll. Watch to your left for the remaining five aircraft in line of breast formation as they return to perform a well-known trademark of the Snowbirds, the line of breast loop. One of the most challenging formations flown by the team. the center is Snowbird 1, our team lead. To his right, Snowbird 2, Captain Wayne Mott of Miramichi, New Brunswick, and Snowbird 6, Major Ian Searle of Bell Fountain, Ontario. To the lead's left is Snowbird 3, Captain Maurice Carmichael of Beauport, Quebec, and Snowbird 7, Captain Rob Mitchell of Victoria, British Columbia. I've been with the Canadian Forces for 10 years now, and uh, just last summer I applied to be a member of the team, flew uh, and did the tryouts uh, for a period of two weeks and finally received the good news that I, uh, I was accepted as part of Snowbirds. So for the first time in the history of the Snowbirds, uh, the, the team has its uh, first female pilot. I had uh, worked with most of the pilots on the team previously, so they knew me fairly well and I knew them also. So the transition was actually very transparent for us. It's more for the general public, uh, for the journalists, for the people that see the shows, that, that it makes a big difference. Now, look straight ahead for the next maneuver. Snowbirds would like to dedicate today's heart to all the ladies and children here with us today. Now, from left and right, watch closely as the line of stern pilots have joined our two solos for the stunning four-way cross. Look to your left and get your cameras ready as our team lead rolls inverted for the amazing inverted boss pass. The selection process for the Snowbirds is you have to have a minimum of 1,300 hours in the jet. And from there, you submit your name to the team. They go through a uh, selection process. And for example, if there were three spots open, they would select six candidates to come to the training. And then from there, they would do a competition, which is basically 12 trips in uh, formation flying, and then they keep the best people. Solos! Split! Now! We use a building block approach during the training season from, uh, from essentially October to April. Uh, we are at home in Musha during uh, grueling winter months uh, training. On average, we'll fly between two, sometimes three missions a day, starting off uh, with second-year pilots training newcomers, starting with, uh, with non-aerobatic uh, maneuvers at first with only a few aircraft. And as we get more proficient, we'll, uh, we'll build upon that, adding more aircraft and introducing uh, aerobatic maneuvers. And then once we have that master, we put the nine plane together, and then we start doing some specialty uh, formations. Go back, turn. Go back. 
formation is returning from behind you and to the right for the double diamond topside pass. This is the tightest formation flown by the team. This uh, is the Tudor aircraft. It's made by uh, Canada Air in Montreal. And it was originally the uh, jet trainer for the Canadian pilots in Canada. And just uh, last year, they retired it. And now we are the only people that are uh, flying this jet. It's uh, about 35 years old. And it'll do uh, 400 knots. And its acceleration limits are seven, plus 7G seven to uh, minus 3G. If you look under the, uh, the aircraft, uh, frequently people will ask us if those are bombs or uh, or missiles, they're not, they're, uh, they're called smoke tank. There are uh, fuel lines that run from the smoke tank all the way to the back through, uh, through an ejector uh, system. And uh, through a toggle switch in the cockpit, uh, uh, we create the smoke uh, during the display. The team will now return from the right for the challenging Drake and Loop. Snowbird is the only team in the world that's been flying the same aircraft for, uh, for so long. So we're proud to say that we've been flying this airplane, been flying air shows with it for uh, 31 years. Formation changes to Big Diamond during the pull-up for the rarely seen inverted wedge to Big Diamond Loop. The actual flying is, you know, needless to say, is a lot of fun and, and it is challenging, it is hard work, but it's something that we truly love uh, doing. I think the best thing about being a snowboard is meeting people, traveling to different places, and just the challenge of going up every day and flying the show because you are putting yourself to the test every day and you're working hard up there. The nine planes are now returning for the magnificent Canada Burst. We would like to dedicate this maneuver to all the volunteers who worked so hard to make this show such a success. And now for their final pass of the show, the team is returning from the right in the amazing nine plane line abreast formation. Watch as the entire team flies wingtip to wingtip at eight feet separation. The Snowbirds are the only demonstration team in the world to fly this formation. It's a very unique experience and uh, one of the few, uh, the few employment as a pilot in the Air Force uh, where the recognition is there right away. As soon as you land, you see the smile on the on the children's faces, and uh, you see growing up shaking hands and, and telling you how much you appreciate the display. I'm going to give you a hug. Oh. <laughs> right. OK, I'm hugging everyone. Oh. And I got to give you a hug. Oh. <laughs> You, you enjoyed the show, happy. apparently. Well, Self-satisfaction is there yeah. all the time because we know we make a difference with, uh, with what we do. I have a question. Where did you get the name for Snowbirds? It, uh, at the beginning, uh, in 1971, when the squadron was first formed, there was a contest with all the students in the uh, hometown where we are, in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. And one, uh, one kid came up with Snowbirds and he won the contest. So that's how we came up with the name. I think it's really good. It's, uh, it's really positive. Uh, every time I have uh, little uh, girls coming up to me, they're always very excited to, to see a woman pilot. And actually even grandmothers are quite excited. A lot of them tell me that the, they would have loved to do it, but unfortunately then it wasn't really uh, open to them. For me, it's really a dream come true. I'm, I'm quite uh, ecstatic about being the team, about flying everywhere across North America and uh, meeting uh, all the people. It was a different time that August 2001. So often, air shows like this one, sponsored by the 104th Fighter Wing of the Massachusetts Air National Guard, would have been described as simply a chance for the taxpayers to see where their money goes. But it's much more than that. It is a time to reflect and remember that this is a country made up of loyal and dedicated individuals who stand united and who at a moment's notice can be called on to protect the freedom that we all share. It is for these homeland heroes that the Westfield International Air Show is truly a celebration of freedom.
Thank <laughs> you.